What's happening guys? I've missed you. Man, it's been such a long time, too long, and I know I keep saying this, but okay, now it's 2021, time to start picking this sh back up. You know what I mean? I just want you guys to know a lot of stuff happening for 2021, so thank you for those that are still here. I know um, we hit kind of a rough patch, but there will be some changes that are really going to help uh, the content out and um, just, you know, just everything in general as a whole will be a whole lot smoother. I think you guys are going to like the plan a lot more. I've been thinking so long about this. Me and Morgan have been thinking so long about what the best idea and the best way to go about the content is. I think we have a plan. Stay tuned, but just know um, big changes and all for the better i think i really do believe so so um yeah this car again it's 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 blowing my mind that i'm looking at it. it's right here i'm like i'm touching it right now i'm touching it but i can't show you guys i'm sorry that's coming very soon i just want to mention uh this video this content you guys are about to watch was filmed months i feel like in the past uh, we still have the car it's pretty much done there's just uh like a couple little interior bits that we're also trying to source but mainly Nissan has just been holding us up with some parts, like OEM parts that we really want to go ahead and put on this car. So um, the owner is aware we've been keeping in touch. It sucks that it's taken this long, but man, it's just one of those things. It's been sitting in the shop for a while now. Uh, we just got it tinted, which is pretty cool. But this is all from a while ago. You guys are gonna see just, I uh, just wanna give a huge shout out to Phase 2 uh, for helping us a lot with this uh, video and making it all happen. So a lot of cool parts go on this car, but I just wanna let you guys know, say what's up. Um, you know, it's been a while, so I hope you guys are having a good 2021 so far. It's been pretty pretty stressful for me, uh, but I really do believe that I think now it's going to start just getting a whole lot better. And uh, with the new plans I have in store, I think everyone's going to be happier and uh, just going to be a good time. So, But without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll be seeing you very, very soon with more content. Enjoy. You guys can see, we've actually made a bit of progress since the last time you guys saw this thing. Yes, the motor is in, transmission's in, wiring is basically complete, intake is almost there, fuse box partial tuck is pretty much done. Uh, guys, I'm going to walk you through because clearly you can see we've done a lot. Um, and, you know, this is just something that we just were just rocking out, knocking out, because honestly, the winner has already been chosen. Uh, we will be contacting you in the next couple days, I'm sure. So, guys, have your phones on you uh, because you may be the lucky winner of this awesome car. Uh, it's coming together really well, guys. Obviously, you guys know, putting in a lot of time, a lot of effort into this thing to make sure it's 100% uh, and really something to be proud of. So uh, walking through, we're going to do just a quick rundown, but we'll do that a little bit later. Right now, I want to show you guys, and I also want to show you guys like the detail and like little things that we're doing here and there and the, and the little tips and tricks that may help you with your builds um, or just to show you exactly how much effort we're putting in. But uh, for now, we're, we're transferring over to this uh to this area over here you guys can see massive arrangement of parts huge shout out to wayne over at phase two motor trend as you guys can see we have a major assortment of parts a lot of stuff going on in this car and uh, we're basically gonna go ahead i'm gonna unbox all this stuff and get it out and install it so let's go ahead let's see what we got here hopefully that worked out as, as good as i imagined it to but you guys can see I have the full lineup right here. Don't let a mess down here. I know it's a little hard to look at. But up here, we have a great arrangement. I'm going to start off from the left going to right. You guys can see we have the smoked out 50-50 tails. These are the LED versions. Guys, I was not a 50-50 fan before. Um, I installed these, and then once I fit them up on the car, I actually was really sold. I think this color helps a lot too, the darker color, but just wait till you see these on the car. We have a full rear arm suspension kit. Uh, the rest are over, the, the camber arms over here. Uh, really nice quality, guys. You guys can see super, super nice stuff. Very cool, very nice, really awesome powder coat finish. The welds look really quality, actually. You guys can maybe see, maybe, maybe on my iphone right now but uh continuing on we have some actually really cool new stuff from phase two motor trend this here is a i guess steering wheel hub assembly with a quick release comes with everything guys all the wiring and back here we have the steering wheel so the packaging on all this stuff guys is incredible but the steering wheel is brand new i think we're like one of the first to get our hands on it if not oh gosh he wayne's gonna laugh i i messaged wayne i was like hey you know I, would love a nice steering wheel, but I really don't want to put anything too flimsy. You know, I want to make sure it's nice, high quality. 
Wayne, he's just like, dude, this ain't NRG. And no, no hate NRG's way, but uh, no, when he said that, I thought that was pretty funny. This wheel, let me tell you guys, is probably one of the stiffest wheels I've ever dealt with. Uh, feels just as stiff as like my Nardi personal wheel. So really stoked on that. The quality, it's suede with red stitching. The stitching quality is on point. It comes with a really nice horn button too, actually. You don't have to pay extra for it. All their stuff is here. Everything will be linked below, guys, their website. Everything will be available for you guys to go ahead and check out. We have some inner tie rods. We have some outer tie rods. We got sway bar end links, front and rear. We have an energy halo for the KA to add a little bit more air going into the motor. We have front and rear, um, so, oh God, strut bars. <sighs> This is a piece of gold. These have been very hard to find. If you guys have been looking for one, I'm sure you guys have realized they are not that hard to find or not that easy to find. They've been out of stock for a while. This is really cool. It doesn't have like a see-through, uh, I guess, glass tube or, or plastic tube to see the level, but it does have, I just found this out, a dipstick. So I thought that was really cool. Nice billet cap too. So that looks really nice. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything. Oh yeah, we have this brake heat shield. Um, Brickmaster heat shield. Shout out again, phase two. Thank you, Wayne. We're gonna go ahead and start popping this stuff on. Probably start off with uh, the tail lights, just because that's an easy, cool thing. You guys probably want to see how they look. So the centerpiece is already on the car. Let's go ahead and pop these guys in. Almost forgot. I just want to show you guys the quality of the packaging. And look at this. It comes like brand new. It looks like stainless steel hardware uh, for the suspension component. So that's really awesome. But I just want to show you guys the the packaging and, and how nice this actually is. So there's like a piece of foam on top. Like this, you know, there's a piece of foam that would go on top of there. So uh, everything was super snug, very tight. But you guys can see this is um, a whole tension rod kit for the front of the car. Uh, it has everything you need. So shout out again. They have uh, really nice stuff, guys. If you want to go ahead and check them out, a lot of products for not just 240s. So go ahead. Link is in the description. Check them out. Well, you guys have it. You can see the centerpiece in, corner light in. Now, don't mind. I still have to adjust that so everything lines up right but just to give you guys an idea looks pretty dang cool and i uh, just want to show you guys the back it's direct bolt-in they don't utilize the side the little corner light anymore has a rubber foamy seal instead of like that gooey gasket stuff and then just plug right in so nice simple install takes two seconds and it looked great and also we have some new clear headlight lenses that we're popping in as well uh same with like corner lamps and everything everything up front will be clear those are at the house. We're actually working on doing those at home because we need an oven. So this thing's going to be lit up, looking really nice, really modern. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Just keep on installing this stuff, guys. You're going to just jam it out.
all the arms, suspension components are all installed. Gives you a good chance to take a peek underneath the car as well. I know it's absolutely filthy with mud and dirt and stuff like that, so we are gonna have to go ahead and clean all this stuff up, but um, you, guys get, you guys can see just how clean and how straight this car actually is. I mean, I personally haven't seen frame rails this untouched before on a 240. So it's very nice to see pinch welds, very clean. You guys can see both sides. Very, very good. So it um, gives us a better opportunity to take a look as well as some other things. We have a new transmission mount from Phase 2 Motor Trend. Very nice kind of polyurethane. Uh, still allows to absorb a lot of the vibrations you get. We have headers, which these are actually for an S13. We're going to see how it, it works for application because they do sit kind of low, you guys can see. Um, so we'll see if we need to go ahead and change those up. Uh, and we have the tie rods here all installed. These actually have a little spacer. I think I showed you guys to give you guys a little bit more steering angle. Really heavy duty tie rod or outer tie rods as well as the inner. They are much more robust than the factory ones. Everything goes the same for the other stuff we installed. So tension rods, these are looking really nice, super high quality. Everything was top notch. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out phase two, definitely do so. We have their 240 auto to manual clutch conversion line, brand new slave. We have also their engine mounts, but uh, still kind of working on here. Got to tuck away some wires, stuff like that, clean some stuff up when we uh, finish everything and get this thing running. Here's a little better shot at the components. Everything fit up very well. And uh, we just want to give you a quick rundown of, of everything we have going on. So um, this will probably be the end of the video here coming up pretty soon. But I just want to show you guys where we're at, what's going on, because a lot of stuff has obviously changed the engine is in. But uh, fuse box has kind of been relocated slash uh, tucked on the outside. So I took, I think I, I think I took a picture, routed the fuse uh, box harness all the way up here, routed it pr uh, properly out of the way. We have a, uh, you guys can't see in here, but I, I made a little harness shield. You guys can maybe see that. Uh, it's a, a metal harness shield that protects the wiring harness uh, from the wheel from getting it chewed up. Factory ends, I mean, everything is just like an OEM plus type deal. Uh, things have been moved and just kind of placed differently to make them look a little cleaner. But for the most part, it's all pretty standard. So just cleaned up, reinstalled, new things here and there. Uh, one thing we're mainly waiting on or trying to find is this hose that connects to the uh, intake to the actual throttle body. Got to put a thermostat in like I told you guys and from that point on we should be able to go ahead and crank this thing. Just put uh, just put in a, a Walbro 255 fuel pump and she's ready to rock. So you guys can see, I mean, it's just kind of a, an easy, simple setup. But like I said, we did clean some stuff up and still need to go ahead and clean some things up. Like I said, we're still in the progress of getting this thing done. But just to reassure you guys, if you guys have any questions, this thing will be fired up here probably tomorrow. I think the parts do come in tomorrow. So that's when we should be firing this thing up. I'm going to go ahead and work on our fancy new bash bar we have from Street Faction. So if you guys want to go ahead and tune in for that video, that's going to be coming up soon. But hope you guys enjoyed the little update. I'm sure I missed a bunch of stuff here and there, but the car is looking absolutely awesome. And we are getting it absolutely perfect for the winter so stay tuned you guys are uh in store for some some good content coming up so thank you guys for watching like i said if you have any questions drop them below see you guys in the next one peace